Hello, welcome to the Sidemore here at the StarCityGames.com Team Open in Louisville, part of the SSU Tour, brought to you by Ultimate Guard. I'm Nick Miller alongside Dylan Donegan and Corey McDuffie, R.A. Ruri here. You guys, seventh place at the last Open in uh, Baltimore at the team event. You guys decided to run it back for this one? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we're good friends. We're, we're uh, boys, yeah, yeah no yeah. question. No, yeah. It was just like auto teaming with the people I hang out with all the time at every event anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's convenient we all get no, to be I actually, uh, I actually got an offer to team with Ben Freeman and Noah Walker mm. and I turned them down. Until, How could you do that? Because <laughs> these are my boys, so, you know. Um, flatter, flatter. You know, those guys are too, no doubt, yeah. but I had already locked in and, it, you know, couldn't yeah. these guys are great. So it's safe to say we'll see you guys well. teaming up for most of the uh, Team opens we have the rest I mean, of the year. I would hope so. Yeah. yeah. I, don't I, mean, know if I'll be in I don't know if I'll actually be in Atlanta. At Atlanta will be safe. Uh, well, yeah. 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 We're both hometown and, Atlanta, so. Yeah. Yeah. The invitation will be really big. We're definitely not going to miss that. It's not a team event, but that's the next event I think is like the big event that I'm going to prepare for. Okay. Talk about the process. You know, from the first team open in Baltimore, you guys did really well there. What was the process of your, you know, thinking and deck selection and position on where you're going to be playing for this open? Because you guys kind of stuck with the same spots. Yeah. So Arya is a purebred mono red player. So we're just going to let him do his burn thing. Uh, Dylan last time wanted to play Legacy really bad, and I really wanted to play Legacy because just because I didn't know how to play Standard, and Dylan had won the first and only Standard open. Yeah, was second, like, and I was frustrated. <laughs> sure, I was frustrated because I like really wanted to play Legacy. Uh, I like knew that format really well and Dylan new standard and like we still managed to have to lose the last two rounds or not make top four um, but this time Dylan's playing standard after having just won a PGQ and yeah. doing really D well Dylan's with all last three matches. standard tournaments he's won two of them yeah. so he can't be that bad at the format yeah so we're, we're hanging in there now and hopefully we'll keep winning and see the best yeah. the team format's great too it's just great yeah. being like hyped for your friends top decks and like you know oh just, yeah you're so much more invested. Yeah, than you, yeah. For sure. you get a lot more cold sweats playing uh, playing team formats. It just feels feels fun. So you get locked in on burn. Yeah, you guys. It. You guys finally decide to divvy up yeah. legacy and standard. standard yeah. this we, time. we decided yeah. that like a month. No, well, at the Atlanta Open, so yeah. three weeks ago. Yeah. So this has been in the works for a while. You yeah, guys yeah. Been oh yeah. Like I like wanted to play with top in the format, but like it, 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 we know how to like evaluate. You know, top getting banned and stuff. So it's not like a big deal, but like I still. Dylan winning the standard PTQ and I did not like the standard format after having just played in the open in Atlanta and I just like really, still really want to play Legacy so it seems like everything's working out. So you yeah, determine that. For the best this time. How do you decide you know what Legacy deck you're going to play because you've played a bunch of you know Stoneblade yeah. kind of control -y decks over the yeah, years. Yeah I spent a lot of time on the phone and you know Facebook chat with these two and any free time I have I just like kind of like talk to them. Magic is a game where like you can just make your game plans and like do the same kind of thing it's just like kind of you got to like get a feel for the format and make sure you know you know how to execute your game plans and everything and I just feel like I started with knowing that I wanted to play Delver and Days and like all in, make sure my opponent, you know, can't play and, you know, barely be taking the same steps that I am and, you know, barely kill them like a tempo deck. Um, so like, that was just like kind of like what I wanted to do and Dylan, you know, we realized, I guess in the standard that like Marvel's like one of the best decks and he just wanted to be really favored in the mirror. So he just like built the deck and made the deck, you know, to be favored in the mirror, so. Yeah, you've won, like he said, multiple standard events in the last couple of months. Yeah. So you're very familiar with the format. Uh, yeah, you know, at this point I am. Right after the Pro Tour, we see kind of what did well. You kind of almost took like a hybrid version of the Yuya and the Genesis like Marvel builds. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, so yeah, I, I, I started with the Yuya's deck, uh, but immediately added two Chandra's because I, to be honest, I think it's wrong not to play it, uh, basically, and it's saved, saved my butt so many times today. Yeah. Uh, but uh, actually, my list is Collins Mullins, who uh, they're they're what seven out two. They're XO right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he, I played three leagues, and I had, I, I think I, I went five zero four one and like two two I think. Uh, and Collins said he played twenty, so I, I went with his deck. Uh, I got a couple different lists I was like toying with, uh, but at the end of the day, I just I didn't want to play Servant. I wanted to play Sensors and Glimmers stuff I like. Uh, suits better to my play style, and I think it's quite favored in the mirror match. So now, how do you come to Lava Spike? So I'm joking because you, <laughs> all you do is play this deck. Yeah. So like, if you just like look at my Kavu, I'm like actually terrible at Magic. I'm like 40% in everything except for Modern. I'm like 70% and just insane. Really, it's just if it burns a deck of like sequencing, and if you know how to sequence your spells. It's like, I've heard so many Death Shadow players be like, ah, I just destroy that deck, and like, you know, I turn one Lava Spike against a Death Shadow deck, and 
spend their first like 10 burn spells just doing what they want to do. It's just, you just gotta know to like let them deal the points of damage and then like spell, untap, spell, spell, and just knowing every matchup and it's just sequencing, just ABC magic and it's treated me well, so I, it just made sense to keep, keep on keeping on. I feel like I've been playing burn since, I don't know if anyone else has been playing it longer. <laughs> A couple of the old timers, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Pat's off to Basic Mountain. He's probably been playing it yeah. way longer than me. So we're seven rounds into the event here. How's it going for you guys? Any crazy matchups or anything that has happened so far? I would definitely say we have had to like every match we've won has been like pretty pretty close. Yeah, like, we've had a lot of close ones. Yeah. A lot of one time dealers. Uh, I think <laughs> I've won one die roll. He's won none. Yeah, um, yeah definitely been rough. But like, uh, yeah, I mean. What? I don't think I played any weird decks. Or I played Naya Marvel in round one, which was a little strange, but I think my deck's so configured for like the normal mirror that it kind of stopped him because he's a lot more sorcery speed and that's what I want to be playing against. Uh, Corey's off to Elves twice, which we knew Elves was going to be popular with, uh, you know, miracles going away. Uh, so it's not too big of a surprise there, I guess. Yeah, I agree. Legacy mini game looks great, though. Yeah, a bunch of mid range deck decks are like definitely like you know tempo. I I, would, I still think that like wasteland is still like really important. Um, I don't know what everyone he here is playing, but definitely just from my experience, like mid range, you know, mi small mana decks are like pretty good. He's so. been unimpressed with Delver too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think that there's just like Legacy is normally a more powerful place, and like with even with miracles going away, that's like a little bit less counter spells can be walking around. So I feel like there should be some kind of combo deck or some kind of more powerful thing. Like, I almost wanted to play Show and Tell, but I didn't have the experience, like, you know, post the top being banned and thought enough about it, and I just wanted to play Delver. So after playing Delver, though, I I, I kind of wish I played, like, I don't know, a more anti-creature deck. Like, even Stoneforge Mystic yeah, isn't longing. good against Delver, but, like, Stoneforge Mystic is good against Elves and random decks like that, so. Longing for Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, I, oh, I gave him the okay on Stoneforge. I was like, yeah, dude, go for it. Yeah. I think you'll do great with it. Yeah, but uh, I went with Delver in the end, which, you know, isn't not a bad call, of course, yeah. but, you know. No, of the popular pretty. decks, that's the biggest one at this event. No, and, yeah. No when you look down the rows of Legacy players. That makes sense. So you guys are five and two. We got two rounds left to go, trying to make day two here. Mm -hmm. You know, what are the what's the plan to try to make it? Yeah. We're like halfway through the event, so like. Yeah, yeah, so I got a long way. Just keep yeah. on, keep on. Yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm going to yeah, keep on doing fun, what I'm so doing. Yeah. Bad. yeah. yeah. Just gonna keep trying to win. Like Daria said, team events pretty cool because like you care about your teams, you know, like care about other people other than yourself winning. So it's been really cool to like sweat these guys and it's nice sweating with your friends and being able to like know we should do this and then like getting to the solution together and just doing anything with like someone else just obviously feels a million Even times. Even mulligan better. decisions. I probably yeah. I, I probably hit him up with a mulligan decision every other game. Like yeah, yeah for real. Like yeah. Yeah. I like team events. Yeah. So everything is about magic is just more fun in a team event. I agree. All right. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Hope you make day two and maybe improve on uh, Baltimore's finish by just a tad bit. That'd be yeah. great. That's yeah. what we're hoping, yeah. yeah. Dylan, Corey, Ari, thanks for joining me here on the sideboard. Stay tuned to StarCityGames.com all week long for the action here in Louisville.